Research is an integral part of any system of medicine, but is this true for homeopathy? Have any studies been done on the efficacy of homeopathy? What types of challenges do researchers face? Let's take a closer look. Well, it's so much, so much diluted that we start to wonder if there's really something in there. So, if it works, that's great for you, but it's thanks to the placebo effect. Well, for me, it's charlatanism, kind of like you're taking natural products and you're transforming them, on which we've done no studies whatsoever, and we're basing ourselves on I don't know what, and we're being told that it's good. Uh, well, both sides of the coin, it's make-believe or it's something very good. I think it's up to us to make the choice. I think it's one of the biggest myths about homeopathy that people get the impression there's no scientific evidence or research that's been done on homeopathy and that's just not the case. We have a fair bit of scientific research that's been done of all sorts of different kinds. We have clinical research studies that have been done to look at what happens to patients when they're treated with homeopathy and see what kind of clinical benefits they get from the treatment right through to laboratory studies that have been testing the remedies on plants, on tadpoles, on white blood cells just to kind of see the action of the homeopathic medicines themselves. Homeopathy is really based on dilutions. Dilutions are in aqueous solutions, well, alcohol and water mixtures. And really the indication is that it has to do with really a, an effect of water, a new properties of water. That's, that's why we call the lab Water Research Lab, because we're really looking at these new properties of water. And so we're setting up the lab in Germany, in Heidelberg, a very prestigious university in Germany, and to really answer these questions about properties of water, deep fundamental questions that are related to the mechanism of action of homeopathy. So in terms of the mechanism of action of homeopathy, we know it's not going to be standard biochemistry. And this is something that really appealed to me as a physicist. We're looking at new properties of water. One of the most useful types of research that's been done on homeopathy is just tracking patient outcomes. So this is what you call a real world effectiveness study. And just to give one example of that, in the UK, there was a homeopathic hospital in a town called Bristol where they tracked 6,500 consecutive patients over six years and just assessed what happened to those patients. And they found that 70% of those patients reported clinical benefit from homeopathy and 50% of them said this was major health improvement. So that's very simple research that tells both decision makers and health departments and patients what they need to know. Some people get the impression that homeopathy is just a placebo effect. They think that you take a pill and you think you're going to get better, so that's actually just what makes you get better. There's no real medicinal value to the medicines, but that's not what the science is showing us. There's a really interesting study that was done on a research farm in the Netherlands where they were testing homeopathic medicines in farming situations such as treating piglets for diarrhea. So what we had in this experiment was they took 52 pregnant sows and they gave them either a homeopathic medicine or a placebo and then they measured how many of the piglets they produced got diarrhea or not. And what they found was out of these 525 piglets that were produced, the group that was given the homeopathic medicine had six times less diarrhea than the group that was given the placebo. Now, that shows it cannot be a placebo. These are animals, they don't know what they're taking, for sure. And that is how you test, under scientific conditions, if it's a placebo effect or not. So in terms of research in homeopathy, we have some very uh, interesting results, very positive results coming out of clinical trials. Uh, however, one of the major problems in homeopathy is that we don't quite understand how it works. We know that it works, but not how. So therefore, there's real demand right now for more fundamental research, looking at the physical chemistry of the action, of, of, of the remedies themselves, trying to understand how they work from first principle, from, from physics and chemistry. That's one of the big challenges that we have in the field right now. <laughs>